Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I felt, I've been looking through my Instagram and some of my videos lately, and I feel like I've gotten far away from the aesthetic that I really like, which is super dramatic eyes with a giant lash, soft nude lip, perfect skin, and just a lot of glow. So I really wanted to get back to that today and really go back to my roots and the things I love about makeup. But something a little bit differently, which I have done before, this is going to be a no brand tutorial. I'll walk you through everything to get this kind of a look, but without any specific products. Now, if you do ask down below, I will answer you just because I don't want people to not know. However, if you are watching just for fun, you can easily recreate this look with stuff you already have in your collection. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload it three times a week. And that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to see how we achieved this look, keep on watching. So because this is a no brand tutorial, I will not be showing you any of the products I'm using today, but I'll show you swatches so you know what I'm looking at. So first I took these three shades right here. I started by dusting the neon orange and building it up slowly into the crease and transition area. Then I took that more camel tone shade and started using that to define the lid before taking that more deeper brown and really using that, it's almost like a pukey brown, and I used that to further define the crease. Then I jumped into this shade, which is actually a shade I have in like a bunch of different palettes but never seem to use. It's like a blue-brown duochrome, and I noticed I also had a pigment with a similar color story, so I did grab both of those just to layer and intensify before finally taking a dark, almost purpley brown into the outer V just to add that last bit of definition. And then I just threw on some lashes, and that's how we got here. Now we're gonna go into everything else. So I am gonna grab my Beauty Blender and take a little bit of foundation once again. And I feel like I'm gonna get really repetitive and tell you I'm not gonna tell you what I'm wearing. I did already prime the skin, but it really doesn't make sense to show me priming the skin if I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. What I will tell you though is this is a foundation that you have never seen on my channel before, and I'm really liking it. Now because you guys will see the doe foot and immediately know what I'm doing, I'm going to go throw on my concealer and I'll be back to blend it out. Alright, concealer is on, time to blend it out. Then grabbing a little bit of setting powder, we're just going to lock all of that in place. So same as with concealer, the second I pull out a brow product, you're going to know what it is. So I'm going to go throw on my brows quickly and I'll be right back. So brows are on, now we're going to finish up the lower lash line. I'm going to grab a very small pencil brush and I'm going to dip into that brownie purple shade again. And I'm going to run that very close to the waterline. Then on a fluffier brush, I'm going to go into that orange shade and just kind of blend around that, similar to how we did up top. Then going back into that pencil brush, we're actually going to take a little more of a concentrated amount of that orange and just kind of blend it over everything. Then dipping into the duochrome shade, the shadow, not the pigment, I am going to take that and just run that directly in the waterline. Just gonna get rid of any leftover translucent powder. I'm really liking how the eyes turned out. Oh. For the rest of the face, I'm going to start off by grabbing a tiny bit of bronzer. See how much of a difference a tiny bit of bronzer makes? Game changer. So I'm not going to go super into the contour today, but I am going to take a little bit just to really amp up that cheek. For blush, I'm going to take a shade I don't typically go in with, and this one's going to be a little bit more on the, like, pinky, corally tangerine. Definitely not something I normally do, but it's 
a very pretty shade. I like that. See how blush just kind of brings the face back together? I'm gonna grab a little bit of highlight. I've been loving this brush again, and I can tell you that because it's not a product. But I just love the way that it deposits down highlight and just adds glow to the skin. So everything just looks nice and beaming and very focused. I'm gonna grab some setting spray and just set down the face. So I'm just gonna throw on my lipstick really quickly and I'll be right back. And that's the finished look. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what product do you most wanna know what I use because I will happily be answering it down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.